Cancer immunotherapy is really uh, harnessing uh, your immune system to fight cancer. It prevents the need for toxic therapies like radiation and chemotherapy therapies that actually weaken our immune system. Fred Hutch has uh, always been a center of cancer research. The Cancer Immunotherapy Trials Network, the CITN, was founded by Mac Cheever. It's a network of clinical trialists at 35 institutions to identify the most promising agents for immunotherapy and then to make these agents available to cancer patients with no other options. It's really through clinical trials that we're able to develop the evidence to know that a drug is safe and that a drug works. The CITN's investigators are really the top investigators in the world. It's team science at a very high level. There was a trial that we had in Merkel cell carcinoma, one of the great success stories of the CITN. Merkel cell carcinoma is a very rare skin tumor. Prior to the development of immunotherapy, it was treated with very toxic chemotherapy that was used for lung cancer. In this particular trial, many were cured. The response rates were over 50%. So I've always been humbled by the generosity of patients. Many patients enroll in a clinical trial knowing that there's potential for benefit, but also for the reason that they know that they're contributing to science. One of the great benefits, and which we are so grateful for to the patients, is why did you respond or why did you not respond to this particular therapy so that we can advance the field? Everybody's cancer is highly specific. Get as much information from your oncologist about your cancer. Take ownership of it. Clinicaltrials.gov is a website that lists all of the clinical trials happening. The next step is really to decide whether the study's right for you and whether you meet the criteria for that study. The future of immunotherapy is really to develop immune interventions that cure all types of cancer. I can't imagine a field that I would rather be in right now. I have actually been doing this for 25 years, and the advances that have been made within the past five years is amazing, and I wish that we knew then what we know now. <laughs>